We're focusing this week on bias and diversity in the workplace. And while companies are kind of managing through that right now, you actually put forward a bill that is now law that will kind of address that for the future. Tell me about the bill that will change the way we're educating our students in New Jersey. The bill it allows the Department of Education uh, to develop a curriculum for schools K through 12 to promote diversity, to promote the difference between uh, their classmates, to promote the fact that you don't have to look and live in the same household as someone else to be different, but still have that respect. And that's the biggest thing. It's about respecting our peers, whether it's in school or even as they get older through, uh, you know, 12th grade and to go into college, there's always going to be some type of diversity that um, they will each be facing and they should they should be respectful of it and learn that there is a difference. And tell me how the bill came about in terms of were you contacted by constituents or did you learn of incidents that kind of raised your concern? With the George Floyd matter and the Black Lives Matter and attending many of the rallies that have gone across my district, um, one of the things that I thought was so intriguing was being able to walk with the students um, standing with them and and supporting them. But one thing that I enjoyed the most was listening to them, trying to put myself in their shoes, listening to what they're really saying. Um, and last year at one of the rallies, um, a councilman that I work with here in Mount Laurel um, had approached me and said, look, there's some you know, uh, parents in one of our school districts that um, has some issues. And he showed me a list of texts that came out of that. Um, and I read them and I was just so horrified at some of the language that was being used and some of the suggestions. Uh, we met with a group of students and their parents, because I think it's so important to make sure the parents are involved in these conversations. Um, and I put the bill in that was based upon, hey, you know, if it's happening in our schools, there's a disconnect. Assemblywoman, thank you so much for your time. Good talking with you. You too. Thank you. Thanks for watching. For more clips and episodes of NJ Business Beat, subscribe to the NJ Spotlight News YouTube channel.